Yo, what up, Jack Nation? It's your man, Justin and Gene. We're back on another one, and this is going to be really quick. Um, and I have a question for everybody, right? You ever get on YouTube and you're looking for something, and you can never find what you happen to be looking for? You scour the internet, and you can't find what you happen to be looking for? This is kind of why I decided to make this video, and it's simply going across how to properly update a motherboard, uh, more preferably a uh, Intel Z690 motherboard, so that way you can use a 13 gen CPU on it. And I'm not going to take anyone else's time, but if you could do me a huge favor before we get started, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to like the video, and if you have any comments, yo, drop them down below. I read them all, and I answer them all a, a thousand percent of the time. All right? And with that, let's get hot. All right, so for this to work, you need three things, right? You're going to need a USB thumb drive um, that all you use it for is just updating your BIOSes on multiple motherboards or just one. You're going to need a motherboard that you're going to update the BIOS, and you're going to need a power supply, doesn't matter what size, and the 24-pin or 20-plus 4-pin motherboard connector. And obviously it needs to be plugged in and it has to be in the off position. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and open up a new tab, click Google, and we're going to search for that motherboard brand that we're getting ready to update the BIOS on. In this case, it's NZXT. We're going to go to NZXT's website. We're going to go ahead and find our motherboard by clicking components, motherboard. We're going to scroll down, find our motherboard. It's the N7Z690 in black. We're going to scroll down and in the screen, you're going to see resources. You're going to click resources and right past your documents. You're going to see your drivers and you're going to have two BIOS updates. Pick the latest one. Once you find the latest BIOS, go ahead and click that. Your save as window is going to come up. We're going to save this file into that thumb drive. And once you finish saving it, we're going to go ahead and you don't have to shut down your browser. Just bring it down, get it out of the way. Once you get it out of the way, we're going to go ahead and open up that file explorer, click open that thumb drive. There's our file. We're going to extract our file. And once it's done extracting, we're going to go ahead and jump into that file. We're going to move this. This is the file you need to update the BIOS and we can delete the rest. And then we're going to go ahead and rename this file for NZXT uh, BIOS update. You have to be rename it creative.rom. Once you're done with that, go ahead and eject your thumb drive and we're gonna move on to updating. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your 24 pin cable and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna plug that in with the snap in place. Then you're gonna take your thumb drive and on the back of your motherboard, if your motherboard can do this, you'll have one of your USBs will be labeled BIOS. That's where you're gonna put your USB with the BIOS update. We're gonna go ahead and install that right there. It's in. And you should also see, depending on your motherboard, a button that looks like this that says BIOS flashback. Once you have everything in, you're gonna go ahead and flip the switch on your power supply. Do not turn the motherboard on. I know there's a power button here. Do not turn it on. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna come over here to your BIOS flashback button and you're gonna hold it for about three seconds. USB is gonna flash and that once it starts flashing and going all crazy, you'll know that there it is. It's starting the BIOS update, all right? When it's doing this, you don't wanna touch it. You don't want to flip the switch in your PSU. You don't want to turn anything on. Don't do anything. Walk away. And if there's people in the house with you, tell them, stay away and stay out of here. All right. Once it's done, all the lights are shut off. You can go ahead and turn the PSU off. Go ahead and disconnect your cable and unplug your USB. And when you get ready to put this in, then if this is a, as this NZXT N7 is a Z690 board, if this you're installing a 13 series processor in it, it should work without an issue. All right, hey, if you guys have any more other questions, don't hesitate to reach out, drop a message in the comments, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'm more than willing to answer questions, all right? Thanks, and we'll see you on the next.